Hey there, I'm Jane and welcome to my YouTube channel and my messy little sewing, I mean knitting corner. I used to be terrified of knitting socks, but I've since then dived headfirst into it and I love making them now. One pair of these ducky socks I knit for my fiance, but unfortunately I did not use a reinforced stitch for the heel, which means in a few months the heels had already worn out. Today I'm going to try out mending some socks with a woven style patch for the first time. This is a pretty strong and pretty visible mending method. For materials, I have a jumbo darning needle from Clover. I have a large glass jar and a pair of scissors. The socks were originally knit with Barocco Ultra Wool and worsted, but for extra durability, I'm using a different yarn for the patch. This is Croy Socks FX, a fingering weight yarn, which is a 75% wool and 25% nylon blend in the colorway Cadet Colors. The nylon will help the patch last longer, even though the yarn weight is different. I started off by making a running stitch around the hole, making sure to leave a few intact stitches all around the sides, but within the running stitch border. I didn't knot my yarn for this, but just kind of held the tail with my fingers so I could weave it in later. Then I put the sock over a jar, because I don't own a darning egg or a darning mushroom, to support the fabric while I weave, making sure the patch doesn't really change the fit of the socks. Next, I started creating the warp of this little patch, making sure to go around each little ladder, the small bit of yarn in between the V of each knit stitch, but going over the running stitch border that I just did. These warp stitches are vertical. Once the warp was ready to go, it was time for the weft stage. Treating the knit stitches along the edge as a guide for each weft strand, I wove over and under the warp. With each under pass, I picked up a leg of each knit stitch underneath to make the patch as stable as possible and really bond it to the leftover fabric of the heel. When all the weft strands were completed, I wove in the ends of the mending yarn strand. I tried to fill in sort of any thin areas by doubling up the weft strands and just following the pattern. Then I wove the very last of the yarn tail into the original sock stitches, splitting the yarn so that the tail wouldn't wiggle out. This is one of my favorite weaving in ends tricks. It works super well, especially for wool yarn. And that's it, I saved the socks. I actually kind of like the patchy look and I've definitely learned my lesson. Always use a reinforced heel stitch when you're knitting a pair of socks. But at least now if anything else happens to one of my hand knit pairs, I know how to mend up any holes. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel to see future ones. If you're also a knitter, maybe leave a comment with your favorite sock yarn or your favorite techniques for making them. I'm always looking for new stuff to try out to really perfect my personal pattern. I'm hoping to release some more how-to videos and some shorter ones about useful techniques and sewing, fiber arts, that kind of thing. I'm still working on my bigger projects, but until I settle into my new routine, the plan is more of a videos are released when stuff is ready kind of situation instead of a consistent schedule. I'll try though. Bye now, see you next time.